What's up everybody, Watt007 here, and welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. In today's Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video, we're going to be taking a look at the upcoming updates in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, because shout out to Konami for dropping DLC to Yu-Gi as an unlockable character at the same time of dropping the upcoming updates. Now, this is going to be pretty much my first reaction to all the upcoming updates. I did get spoiled on a few of the things in the upcoming updates, but for the most part, I don't know most of the stuff. So we're going to be taking a look at this stuff and seeing what's going to be spicy for Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links and all the awesome updates for June, which I'm definitely looking forward to so let's get into today's leak review jk it's not a leak review it's an upcoming updates review you know what it feels like leaks though okay i really do feel like leaks let's get into it boys also by the way i'm recording this at 2 a.m so if my commentary is pretty dumb that is why let's get into it boys so first things first we have the kcgt preliminary tournament probably mispronounced a couple words right here but this is basically a large online okay okay let me just repeat let me rewind real quick so this is a upgraded version of the KC Cup and this is a large-scale online PvP event underway so we have the first stage from June to June 14th and then we have the qualifiers from 12 to 14 so I'm trying to remember what the um, events were called a year ago but basically what these events are for is for placing into the Yu-Gi-Oh World Championships in 2020 now the Yu-Gi-Oh World Championships for 2020 did get canceled so that's probably why they're doing something a little bit different right here because I think what Konami is going to be doing with this event when it comes out is that they're basically testing the waters to see how a online PvP event would work correctly and it's probably one for experimental reasons just to see how it will work for potentially doing some sort of championship thing in 2020 because Duel Links was going to be part of the you know championship or the world championship 2020 because they've been doing Duel Links as part of the Yu-Gi-Oh world championships for a couple of years now and at the end of the day Yu-Gi-Oh is a video game so if they can figure out how to do the event through the video game they're probably going to figure it out so I think that's the point of this right here because if you also read this down here players will duel to gain DP in the qualifiers and the top 100 with the most DP will gain the KC uh, Grand Tournament main tournament invitation so they get access to this tournament and then um, from there you're good to go. So yeah, if you're one of the best players, you get invited to this tournament, and then the official tournament for Worlds is going to be this right here. So it just kind of do be like that due to the whole thing happening to the world. You guys all know it. We've been all living through it. And it does suck that the World Championship 2020 is not happening. I'm super bummed out about it, and it, it just is what it is. But it's a good thing to see that Konami is going to be doing some things to kind of just make the tournament still happen, so that's cool. Next up, in early June, we have an admission circuit right away, and it looks like we're going to be getting a card called Changing Destiny, which I believe... Wait, hold up, 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 hold up. Was this a Carly, or was this... Oh, wait, wasn't this like a Dark Signer, like, card up here? Oh, yeah, okay, it was for Carly's. Okay, I was about to have a panic attack because I could have sworn that this was like something that Misty used. And it's like, I want Misty and Duel Links. Don't add any cards that potentially Misty could have for, you know, in events like these. But this is a Carly one. Okay. Panic, panic. Yeah, we're good. We're good, boys. Let's go take a look at Changing Destiny. Yeah, this was used. I think it was actually Jack. It was like Jack versus Carly. And I think Jack used this. Man, like I said, it's like 2 a.m. for me, so I'm a little tired right now. But let's go take a look at Changing Destiny. Just know that this was used in the duel against Jack versus Dark Signer Carly. So this card right here is a normal trap card that states, when opponent's monster declares attack, attack the attack or target the attacking monster, negate the attack. And if you do change it to defense position and it cannot change its battle position while it's face up on the field, then your opponent chooses one of these effects. You, the opponent of this card's activator, gains life point equal to half the target's attack. Your opponent, the activator of the card, takes damage to half the target's attack. So, there we go, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. So, yeah, I remember correctly now. It was Jack Atlas that used this card against Carly. And he was hoping that there was still the good side of Carly here to um, bring things back. It was kind of like a little test right here. Um, honestly, though... Yeah, honestly, though, I think this card might actually see some play. Because, yeah, when an opponent monster declared attack, you get to target the attack and negate it change it to defense position and then it cannot change its battle position anymore after it's activated and then on top of that your opponent gets to choose the effect so for this situation right here it's like well actually this is like a hit or miss because you get to stop your opponent's monster from attacking you and potentially winning the duel and you know what maybe that attack that they're about to swing with you if you activate changing destiny like for example if your opponent did a direct attack with you with blue as my dragon and you had 3,000 life points you activate Changing Destiny to stop that from happening, and then your opponent will always choose the option to make you take damage after that target's attack. So, I think this card will see some play here and there, because the 
bonus effects that you get from it is actually really good. But the side effect um, where your opponent gets to choose to make you take damage will still make you lose certain duels. Because if you only have a thousand light points, activate this card, stop the blue eyes from attacking you. Your opponent's going to be like, okay, I'm going to activate the um, second of the dairy effect of this effect and make you take 1500 points of damage. You still lose, but in other situations where you had more than that, you're going to be good to go. So... I could definitely see this skill, or not skill, this card sees some play. Um, especially for the fact that you just get so many bonus effects. You get to stop the monster from attacking you, change it to defense vision, and it cannot change your battle position while it's face up on the field. So you get a lot of bonus effects, even though you will take half of the um, target's attacks uh, as damage thanks to changing destiny if your opponent uses that. So yeah, I think this card will see some play. It's actually not a bad uh, card that we're going to be getting for free because this is going to be through the event mission circuit. So that's really cool right there. Next up in middle of June, we're getting another dual quest. Gotta love the dual quest. Get them free gems, baby. So not a surprise the mission circuit and dual quests are going to be giving us these events right here. And looks like most of June, as you guys can tell right here, is definitely going to be this event right here. No wonder they gave us DLC to you get at the end of the event because they're just going to give us a KC uh, GT event. And for the most part, there's not going to be much going on in the uh, dual links, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, there's like barely anything going on. And to be honest, I'd be genuinely surprised if uh, Konami did not release a box in this time. I know they released a structure deck recently, but honestly, they might be releasing a box soon because if they don't release a box soon, there's going to be almost nothing to do in Duel Links for the next two weeks. Oh well. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at the middle of June. We're getting the Duelist Chronicles GX back into the game. It looks like we're getting some cool cards. So it's Jaden and Co's 30 year Duel Academy, and the entire school has been sent to another world. Will Jaden's friends be able to um, survive? We also get a new UR card, um, Arm Tile, the Chaos Phantom. And you can defeat the King of Games and receive U Bell's exclusive skills. So we're getting a new U Bell skill, and we're getting a new card. Let's go take a look at this card, though, because the name of it sounds interesting, but let's see if it is any good. Let's see, is any good? And technically, it was a character. Oh, I know what this is now. Okay, so I remember. I remember this thing now. So this is the fusion of all the bootleg Egyptian god cards, all the sacred beasts. So this is a fusion of all the sacred beasts. And basically, when you fusion summon to this, um, you have to first. So the only way you can fusion summon to this is by banishing all three of these guys that are face up on the field, and they cannot. And then once this card is on the field, it cannot be destroyed at battle, and this card gains ten thousand attack during your turn only nice nice meme card right here playmaker duel links duel links best decks i'm very curious to see what you guys will attempt to come up with if you do want to get them easy youtube views right here i don't know i mean i might consider trying out this card especially if you bell's new skill that is coming with this event makes it a little easy to summon to this card I don't know, I don't know, because this is a meme card right here, because you can't fuse into it. You need to have all the bootleg uh, cards onto the field, and that's going to take some work. That's going to take some work to get all three of these cards onto the field, and then trying to win a duel against your opponent without them surrendering. So, you know, it is what it is right here. It is what it is, but it's nice to see those cards in Duel Links. I'm not going to lie, it's nice to see. And what's also really cool about this card coming to back, or not coming to Duel Links, is the fact that all of these um, other, you know, Sacred Beast cards hopefully will be available in this event for all of those people that missed out on it. Because I remember a couple of my live streams ago, or one of my live streams I did a couple days ago, somebody in my chat was wondering if there would be an opportunity to get the Sacred Beast again in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. And well, this event right here in the middle of June might be able to give us um, those cards again for the people that missed out on it. So not bad. Looking forward to the Duelist Chronicle event. Next up, in middle of June, we have some event-exclusive uh, Legendary Duels coming to the gate. So now Joey Wheeler is going to be permanently lockable in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. So for all of you guys that missed out on the homie DSOD Joey Wheeler, you now can lock him in middle of June without playing the event. That's awesome right there. Next up, in late June, we have Professional Aster. Win duels to obtain new UR card, Aberration, and SR card D counters. So let's go take a look at this new support right here, boys. Let's go take a look at this new support right here, because I have never heard of these cards before, and they might be anime cards. They might be um, some new anime cards that we haven't seen before, so let's go take a look at them. So this first card right here, Apparition or something like that, if a face-up hero monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, especially on a level 4 or lower vision hero monster from your deck, then you can half the original attack and defense of one monster opponent controls. You can activate one of these per turn. Um, honestly, not too bad, because you can use this card to basically special summon into a vision hero Vylon, and then go for hero combos from there. And then, yeah, you get to half the attack of your one of your monsters your opponent control, and it doesn't seem like it's a target effect. Because it's just like, hey, you can cut that thing in half without targeting it. So it's a non-targetable effect, if I'm reading this correctly. And you get a vision hero monster out of it. So honestly, 
not bad. Not a bad card. I can see why it's a UR event only card, that's for sure. And then let's go take a look at D counter. Let's see how good D counter is. But I gotta say, these are actually really cool. Really cool. Um, let's see. Is D counter not a thing or is it not popping up here? There we go. Okay, so I have it right here. So let's go take a look at it. So D counter right here is a normal track card that states when a destiny hero monster you control is targeted for attack, destroy the attacking monster. Oh, okay. So it's basically a Sakuraku armor, but for destiny heroes. Makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense right there. Not a bad card. Uh, it's nothing crazy because it's only exclusive to destiny heroes, but yeah, it's cool. I can see why it's an SR event card. That's for sure. So not bad. Not too shabby whatsoever. In late June, we're also going to be getting a new legendary duelist. Obtain a new legendary duelist. Obtain a certain character from a movie, Yu-Gi-Oh! DSOD. Collect event exclusive items to challenge the event character. I won't back down from a challenge. Let's duel! Okay, wait. Okay, so is this Agami? Or is this somebody else? Because I'm trying to remember, because do, Agami doesn't sound like you would say this. I won't back down from a challenge, let's duel. I mean, ugh, wait. Okay, I need to refresh myself. Let me go look up the entire cast of Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, DSOD. And let me go see, like, any other exclusive characters besides Agami. So I looked it up real quick, and from what I can tell, I don't think that there's any other legendary duelists that were from the movie Yu-Gi-Oh! DSOD. <sighs> Obtain a certain character from the movie Yu-Gi-Oh! DSD. Collect event exclusive items to challenge the event character. I really don't know. I I really don't know who this is. I really don't know. It's either Agami or it's a different character. Because fun fact, in the Duel Links leaks, we actually had full character renders for Tristan and Bakora. And I honestly could see Tristan saying, I won't back down from a challenge let's duel. And I don't think I... I and like normal Bakora, because we have Yami Bakora in Duel Links, but we don't have like normal Bakora, and we got normal Bakora in the leaks. So like, this might, it might not be Agami. I really don't, please tell me in the comment section down below, do you think it's Agami? Because I can easily see it being Agami, but at the same time, it might not be Agami, because I feel like that they would mention that it is an Agami, considering that Agami is very prominent in this current event, you know what I'm saying? It might not be a guy, I just don't know who. I really don't know who. But then the last update that we have right here is that the level cap for the five D's characters have been decreased to 40. Thank goodness. More gems, more cards. Hopefully we'll get some cool cards like Scrap Iron Scarecrow. Might have to make a video on my predictions of what potential um, level of reward cards we might get for the five D's characters. That is for sure. But yeah, I, I don't know. Who is this? Who is this? Whose men's is this? I really don't know. But that's going to be it for me in today's Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video and reaction to the new DSOD, uh, not DSOD, to the new upcoming updates in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Other than that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching today's Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. If you guys have not already, be sure to go hit the like button in the video down below and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links content. Other than that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll go see you guys next Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. Adios, everybody.